hold it. What? It's episode five and I'm raring to go. Look at me, I'm raring. I've just had a massive coffee. My insides are bubbling. I have no idea what might happen. I'm genuinely having a panic attack. <laughs> so, before I pass out, let's quickly meet our five contestants and get on with the show. Please give a huge round of applause for... David Badillo! <laughs> Ed Dumbo! <laughs> Joe Brand! <laughs> not Katie Wicks! <laughs> and Rose Matafeo! Within perfect swiping reach is a man who's the living definition of wishy-washy because he washes my dishes and he wishes he could meet his hero, the singer Pink. <laughs> <laughs> it's little Alex Hall! I think he's a great singer and a good role model. Thank you, Greg. Now, keener eyes would have observed that the lovely Katie Wicks is not with us tonight and it falls upon Alex to explain why. Well, yes, very sadly, Katie Wicks has... Uh, uh, <laughs> <laughs> she's... Uh, <laughs> no, Katie... Um, Do you want me to take over? She's not dead, just to be clear. <laughs> Katie is not very well, I'm afraid, but um, she's getting better already and she'll join us later in the series. Um, but in the meantime, we've been rejoined by an absolute champion. She's the winner of Series 7 of Taskmaster. It's Kerry Godleyman. Kerry Godleyman! Yeah! So excited. So excited. Kerry, thank you for stepping in. I'm, I'm very sure, happy to be here. I'm sure you will inhabit... Kate, project Katie Wicks? Inhabit. Inhabit. I'm sure you'll inhabit Katie Wicks. <laughs> I think so. <laughs> uh, OK, what is the prize... Category this week. Now you're asking, and the answer is that they've been asked to bring in the best defunct thing. Defunct. So things that, although defunct, are the best, right? Right. Yes. Rose, what is your defunct item? Uh, my defunct item is a, a sharps bin filled with used syringes from my flatmate. <laughs> Here it is. Go. Um... Is your flatmate a heroin addict? <laughs> No, she has arthritis. Oh. Um... <laughs> I mean, keep oh. it light, Rose. <laughs> In what way is it a defunct thing? You can't reuse the, the bin, you can't reuse the syringes, it has to be literally, you know, pressure. <laughs> What's that? There's no doubt that that bin has to be pressure. <laughs> Thanks. Thanks for getting us off to such a fluffy... <laughs> Light entertainment start. <laughs> Joe, um, what defunct item have you brought in? It is a Margaret Thatcher nutcracker. Really? <laughs> <laughs> oh. Wow. I mean, I have so many questions. <laughs> is it defunct? Yeah, well, she's defunct, for starters. <laughs> Also, sure. I think, you know, people don't really crack nuts anymore. That's the sense in which I think it's defunct, because you can just buy nuts in a bag. <laughs> but you, <laughs> still, you still can buy nuts in a shell. Yeah, I've cracked a nut yeah. before. Christmas, you always yeah. crack a nut, right? Do just... you? <laughs> <laughs> My granddad used to be able to crack a walnut just with his hand. No. Yeah. Other than that, wasn't a very nice man. <laughs> <laughs> Yes. What did Katie bring in? Um, can you fill a minute talking about it? <laughs> Actually, it just so happens that I have got strong feelings about what Katie brought in, so that's fortunate. She has brought in a £5 Woolworths voucher. There it is. <laughs> oh, that's great. I yes. have no idea why that caused such excitement. <laughs> I think you did. Uh, and, and that wasn't one person. That was... <laughs> Certain age that are still grieving. Really? You can buy all kinds.
millions of things, like millions. You could buy clothes. You could buy gardening equipment. Pick a mix. I mean, pick a, pick a mix. mix has gone. It's gone. Yeah, because I like my sweeties with a thin coating <laughs> of multiple layers of piss. <laughs> Who was pissing in the pick and mix in oh, your house? They did a test, didn't they, on mint? There was 400 what? types of piss on the mint. I didn't know there were that many types of piss. <laughs> ah, it was inaccurate, sue me. <laughs> <laughs> Edward, what have you brought in? I have brought a, an extensive guide to the Millennium Dome. Oh. <laughs> it's got a map, which, as you would agree, is completely defunct. So I tried to use it to get around the O2 and it was absolutely useless. <laughs> Where did you get it? Did you buy it? I ordered it on eBay. It was £18. <laughs> what? That's a collectible. Well, is it? Because when it arrived, I was pretty disappointed. <laughs> David, what's the defunct thing you've brought in? Right, well, this is what I've brought in. That's a lovely picture of me with my cat, Monkey. That was taken a couple of years ago. And this is Monkey now. <laughs> photograph you've had taken with you and Monkey, isn't it? Yeah. That's an interview I did in the Daily Telegraph Thanks. about me and Monkey. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, honestly, mm? it looks like Monkey's being held against his will, though. Yeah. <laughs> Hostage situation, Monkey. <laughs> OK, we're looking for best defunct. What is the worst the Well, the worst defunct thing for me is a bin full of old syringes. <laughs> Oh, God. I mean, I can't now imagine that I'm giving your Millennium thing an extra point over a bin full of... No, because if you look at, if you look <laughs> at best and worst objectively, yeah. uh, the guide to the Millennium Dome is a better thing than a box full of syringes. Better? Are we doing, are you doing on better or the most <laughs> defunct thing? No, no, it's not most no, defunct it's thing, it's best it's defunct thing. best thing. defunct thing. See, so so they're like, all defunct, okay. and how do we rank them then? Yeah. No, <laughs> that's, that's crazy. That's language! That's crazy! <laughs> So, one point to Rose. Are we going two points to Ed? Thank fourth you. place. I'm going to give three points to Joe Brand. <laughs> I'm going to give Terry slash Katie four points. Four points. And in first place, with five points, just because I believe it had an unhappy life of being held against its will, <laughs> I have to do it for the... <laughs> what was his name? David Baddiel. Oh, monkey. <laughs> points in first place goes to the spirit of poor monkey. Oh. Really <laughs> good. Lovely. Right, let's get on with the show proper, young horn. Yes, let's please. Yeehaw! <laughs> That's so sinister. Hello. I've got a helmet on. It looks really scary. <laughs> Lasso Alex. Lasso Alex. Lasso, Lasso, Lasso. That's a Lasso. Lasso. Lasso Alex. <laughs> you must stand behind this line at all times. Fastest wins. Your time starts a... now. Fastest what? Is there a top line? Oh, <laughs> <Right>, Lasso Alex. <laughs> oh, no, do you just chuck it? Would you like to do this? <laughs> hey, that was a shit laugh. Probably dig into the old uh, lasso lasso thing. Oh, rather that, not. That a New Zealand thing. Well, I mean, yeah. <laughs> do you want to see some lassoing? Yeah, come on. Okay, we're going to start with someone with the star sign of Pisces. Oh. Me and me. Uh, it's Katie Wicks. Oh. <laughs> I'll just do a trial one. <laughs> Maybe I'll just try chucking it like this. <laughs> it needs to be longer. Oh, I know what you do. You get it going and then yep. you slowly let it out and then... <laughs> ah! <laughs> <laughs> Can I make this bigger? A lot bigger. <laughs> Can you put your head forward? OK, ready? Yes. Oh, can you lean forward a bit more? Yeah, that's great. Oh, nearly. 
Head forward again, please. That's great. I don't know how I'm going to defend that. You've got to try and talk yourself into even half a point. <laughs> I mean, it was... I don't know what to say. It was awful. <laughs> <laughs> you do the thing. I've seen the count. You do you, 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 you get, like, all of it involved. And then you go, wallop. That's yeah. how you do it. <laughs> you go wallop. You always go wallop. If only we had the Bosch Queen there. <laughs> she should have called me. <laughs> she should <laughs> Right, it's time for me to palm you off on some dirty old adverts now and get Alex Horn to reply to all the fan letters I've received, weirdly, from Terence Trent Derby. <laughs> bye bye, see you in a minute! Oh, it's quite a few. And I'm so glad. Yes, and I'm so Alex Horn, it's not even funny. <laughs> Before the break, the lovely contestants were taking it in turns <laughs> to lasso me. Now it's the turn of Ed, Rose and Joe. Oh. When did you last eat? Nine o'clock. It's going to be a while till your next meal. <laughs> oh! Ooh. Glad you put that visor on. Mm. God damn it. Just thinking I might move that line. Very low, that one. I don't think this is proper cowboy rope. <laughs> Can I just move it for, for forward? <laughs> yoo I'm a cowboy! You're a lot closer. Turns out I'm shit at the thing. Don't look at your watch. <laughs> yeah! you rose. Thank you. <laughs> Stop the clock. Come on. Can we just answer Ed's question? There is genuine. What did you call it? Cowboy, cowboy, cowboy rope. rope. I wrote that down. Yeah. I don't even think this is proper cowboy rope. <laughs> it wasn't. It was too. It was too sticky for cowboy rope. Yeah. Oh. It was very sticky rope. It was a genuine ranch lasso with leather reinforced Honda waxed. Yeah. You'll notice that Joe Brand read the task and then did not move. <laughs> Until she worked out a system that involved <coughs> basically no movement. <laughs> no, I was doing what I thought was called lateral thinking. Yeah, classic we all did that stuff. in the end. Actually, yeah, I didn't know what's way You say though. we all did it in the end. You realised you could move the line, but thought no, I won't move it too close. <laughs> <laughs> I, I have no defence for that. <laughs> so tell me some stuff. Yeah, well, first of all, to say that Joe is right. It didn't say you can't move the line, so you can move the line. Same in darts. Tick. Um, <laughs> she did it in 80 seconds. Rose moved the line after one minute, but then took another minute and 20 seconds. So more than half her time was after <laughs> she moved the line. Yeah. <laughs> so we've got first and second so far. Bearing in mind Katie took seven and a half minutes. Ed, nine and a half minutes. <laughs> if only we had the right rope. <laughs> Who is next? Here's Uncle Dave. Uh, I think there's another way around this. <laughs> Bit better with the spoon. Yeah. <laughs> I have to do the spoon's idea. Ready? I'm ready. I'll be honest, the spoons haven't helped. Okay, can you 
Put your head through here. And it comes. It's definitely coming now. I think we just have to... Can you crouch? Do you mean, like, kneel? No, well, kneel if you like. Yeah. You do have to pray. OK, now just... No, 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 stay down. Right, go down a bit more. A bit more, a bit more, a bit more. OK, now just sort of jiggle a bit. That's it, keep jiggling. That's it. Good. OK, stay there. A bit like a pig. Stay there. Mm. I feel really bad about what I said about Katie now. <laughs> David, I would argue that there is not <laughs> one other person on the planet who would think that the way to improve your chances of lassoing something <laughs> is to tie wooden spoons to the lasso. I mean, I honestly thought that was the way forward, right? <laughs> but the clues were there, Dave. Why don't you stop at two spoons? <laughs> it's just to, to get inside David's mind when he goes, I'm going to put another spoon on. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Do you want to know how long he took? Yeah, what oh, was my time? I'm interested. You took slightly longer than all four of the others combined. <laughs> Well, it was 24 minutes. 24, 24 minutes, minutes, right. OK, well, it's the usual, and we've got two points to... <laughs> yeah, it's fair enough. Three points to Katie and Kerry, four points to Rose, but five points to Joe Brown! Oh, yeah, yeah. Good. Scoreboard now, you. Ed is in last place with four, but the leader at this point, for the first time, I think, is Joe Brown with eight points! Yay! Right, what's next, little Alex Who? It's breakfast time for Daddy. Hello, Alex. Oh, hello, David. May I? Yes, please. Never may I. Mm -hmm. It always seems a shame to break these nice seals. <clears throat> Make the most accurate and inventive egg timer. You have 10 minutes to plan your egg timer and then 20 minutes to make your egg timer, after which Alex will boil an egg for as long as your egg timer lasts. The taskmaster likes his eggs runny, but not too runny. Oh, does he indeed? Uh, you may not use any pre-existing timing devices. That include, like, a watch. <laughs> yes, exactly. That. You can't include a watch. No. no. So it's your time starts now, which is ironic, given what we've just said. I think I'm going to use water. I need to get the amount, right amount of water so it's six minutes of dripping onto your head. So that is Chinese water torture? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> What's something that would only last two minutes? A mint! <laughs> How long does it take me to read a page of The Big Fisherman? <laughs> it was a calm, early summer noon in the southern mountains of Arabia. You need a pen or a sharp object. Could you also give me a birthday cake? Two glass vases. Butcher's hook. Maltesers. Can I get a birthday card, just in case? Mm -hmm. One second there. <laughs> My instinct is to ridicule David for asking yeah. if a watch is a timing device. <laughs> but I shan't. Oh. Something else caught my attention. Well, it was two things. One, <laughs> timing how to cook an egg by reading one page of The Big Fisherman. <laughs> but don't worry, you were saved when Rose announced that she was going to use a mint. <laughs> Famously used in international time trials. <laughs> Who can forget when Roger Bannister broke the four mint mile? <laughs> So first, we're going to see David again. We've all seen how he goes about things, and none of us understand it. Here he goes again! <laughs> well, all right. Right, no, that's all right, that's all right. I'm just trying to make it look nice. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Hold it. Hold it. <laughs> Bollocks.
have stopped. Mm -hmm. Mm. <laughs> right, let's start with the positive. I thought it looked the part. I thought it yeah. looked like a well-engineered piece of kit. Mm -hmm. I don't know what went wrong. M my feeling is you are under the impression that any amount of sand <laughs> <laughs> falling through any hole will always be three minutes. Well, <laughs> I seem to remember I spent quite a lot of time trying to work out the exact amount of sand. Yes. You did some experiments. Yeah. They didn't work. OK. <laughs> it took the same time as it takes to cook a three-pound lobster, 18 minutes and four seconds. <laughs> Good. <laughs> David invented a lobster timer. <laughs> <laughs> OK, time for some commercials. Bye! <laughs> Just having a lovely old time. I always worry that I might have peaked, but I haven't peaked. <laughs> Just to recap, <laughs> they've, been, they've been trying to make the best egg timer without using any timing devices. Now we're going to look at the egg timer. I want you to be the timing device. I want you to put a Malteser in your mouth. Every second for six minutes. Every second. Every second. <laughs> yes, this is 360 Maltesers. Oh, no, we'll change it up every minute. And we'll dress you as an egg. I gave very clear instructions to eat one of those things every second, and that would have been exactly six minutes, which is the perfect soft-boiled egg. So he must have lagged behind on the eating speed. Oh. <laughs> I, mean, I did one item every four seconds, which what? is not bad. You did it four times as long as I specified. <laughs> it's impossible. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. They've Just do that for somewhere. six minutes. They've got to go somewhere. Yeah. It's not rocket science, mate. <laughs> It took, it took 28 <laughs> seconds longer than David's. 18 minutes and 32 seconds. We're going to see how Katie got on next. Here we go. It's quite a big egg timer. Yeah, it's quite, um, it's quite a big egg. Look, it's twitching. OK. All right. Good. Thank you okay. for your egg timer. Thank you. in the head. There's a, there is a bit of give, but I wouldn't call it runny. Best so far, though. It was the best egg so far, you're right. Yeah, and yeah. now, how did you enjoy the Chinese tap torture? No, it no. was horrible. I could see you were genuinely distressed. Yeah, I was. I don't mind telling you, it gave me a weird, happy feeling in my tummy. <laughs> mm. Can I ask some questions about Katie's choices? Mm -hmm. um, why did we need the fish? 
I think it was just a bit of finesse, but now you've brought it up, I feel like I'm going to mark Katie down. No, no, no. <laughs> no. It was very inventive. It was very inventive. I yeah. think push that. It was really inventive. It was the same system as David's, really, but just slightly better executed. Well, that's not very nice. I didn't fucking torture you. <laughs> <laughs> Do you want to see Rose's attempt? <laughs> yeah. Dear Alex. I'm not the Taskmaster, just... Oh, it's Taskmaster. Shit. Oh, lovely. It's my egg timer. It's a lovely egg timer. Thanks. Enjoy it. Dear Taskmaster, here are some instructions. Bring a pot of water to the boil. Reduce to simmer. Then place your egg into pot. Light all five candles on the cake. When most of the candles burn out to be flush with the cake top, take your egg and place it in cold, cold water. Most of the candles are flush with the cake. He likes it runny, but not too runny. Okay. Does it say a lot about me that my first thought was uh, she'll be making me eat that whole cake in five minutes? <laughs> <laughs> you know your way around a boiled egg. I do. I do. I'll tell you why. It's because that noise, that ooh, <laughs> was the sound of a room full of adults <laughs> being excited by a boiled egg. <laughs> No, I didn't know the ice thing. That's yeah, the thing, it stops it? it cooking. It stops it cooking. I mean, really, Rose? Genuinely impressive. Ah, oh, thanks. One more. OK, finally, because she's the only one we've not seen yet, it's Joe Brand! Oh, put the egg in the cold water. Just before it's boiling, call Joe Brand. Egg to me. <laughs> and how wonderful, after all these years, for you to uh, find the missing William Blake lyric. The one that went, nah, 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 nah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what you want to do points wise. Well, it's pretty obvious, isn't it? Oh. <laughs> yes. <laughs> we'll, we'll give that one point. Uh, two to David, right. three to Katie. And well, to I'm going to gonna award the top spot yes. to the egg that I visually approved of. <laughs> The greatest, and that was Joe Brands. So it's another five points to Joe Brands. <laughs> one more tax, just one more. Yes, but shh, please. Heads down, no talking. Thank you. Oh, hello. Hello. Oh, hello. There's a nice man in here, Joe. <laughs> We don't know if he's nice yet. He looks nice. Oh, yeah, you look nice. Thank you. Nice hair. Lovely hair, yeah. What have you been spit out our chewing gum? We've all got chewy eggs. I swallowed we're cool. mine. Sorry. <laughs> you swallowed yours? Seven years bad luck. Bad. I know. No, it's not there. It's just like... <laughs> Would either of you want to take this? May I? You may. Yeah. <clears throat> Thank you. Get Are to you? know this person. You will be tested on your knowledge of this person in ten minutes' time. You may not write anything down or leave the lab. It's a memory thing, which is bad for us. You must take them turns to ask a completely different question. The person will tell the truth, lie, then brag, in that or order, but not necessarily starting with the truth. The person will tell the truth, 
lie, then oh, brag, God. in that order. It's OK, but not necessarily starting with the truth. What's the final line of the time? Uh, your task starts now. Okay. Well, it's all about um, them creating a system, the teams. Oh, yeah? To crack the code. Do you want to see their revision process? Yes, please. Here I'd it like is. to see their revision The revision process. process. Here we go. Well, I'm going to ask him if um, he's sitting on a chair to see if he's telling the truth or not. Okay. So, are you sitting on a chair? No. OK, Sweet great. Night. So then... OK, so the next be... will be a brag. What's your name? Carlos Edwards. Carlos Edwards. What do you do? Uh, I'm a modern-day Jesus Christ. That sounds like a brag to me. I think that's true. <laughs> <laughs> What's your name? It's Gareth Simon Kellyanne, which is probably the best name you can imagine. OK. So now it's the truth. May I ask, what do you do for a living? <laughs> I'm a professional magician. What's your job? I am training to be a doctor. Did you go uh, to university? I didn't, but I've learned a hell of a lot more in life than I would have ever learned at university. Great brag. OK. <laughs> You're always true. Thank you. What's your greatest fear? The deep ocean. As in, like, being plonked right in the middle of the ocean. Being plonked in the middle of it. How old are you? Nearly 40. Have you ever had any therapy? <laughs> You're really getting to know me there. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I'm just doing my task. Do you live in a flat? I live in a three-storey house on a farm. Do you live with some farmers? No. Do you farm? Yes. There's a doctor and a farmer? Yes. Certainly some line has gone on. I've never seen someone on a tractor <laughs> looking that at you. Have you worked out a system yet, you two? Oh, is there a system? Are we meant to No, yeah, we are, but we have, we're not using it. Yeah. Have you ever been in a play? Did you get on with your parents? Oh, you're getting to the deep stuff. Yeah, well. Yeah, yeah. Have you ever been to Penge? Uh, yes. Do you have a library card? Yes. What do you do? I'm a magician. Ah, that sounds true to me. Yeah. So, what is it? Truth? Lie, Brian. 20 seconds left. We'll just... Uh, um... Do you have any tattoos? Yes, I do have tattoos. What's your best trick? My best trick is a stage trick whereby I end up taking my clothes off. I'm on stage wearing women's underwear. I think that's not true. Is that a brag? It's a strange brag. <laughs> oh, dear, OK. Please leave the lab and head over to the exam area. It was only really, really late in the day that I realised we were supposed to have a system. <laughs> Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, Gareth Simon Callian. Well, that's odd that you know my full name. Callian. Goodbye, magician. So we were supposed to actually find out real stuff about it. <laughs> well, it seems to me, Joe, you worked out there was supposed to be a system fairly <laughs> early on and chose not to pursue one. <laughs> I just wanted to try and guess instinctively to see if I had the power. <laughs> <laughs> I like Katie's way. She was like, have you had therapy? Do you like your mum? I mean, she really got stuck into yeah, it, didn't she? Yeah, that's uh, how I... And he looked like... genuinely uncomfortable. Totally he was. He was kind of like... I kind of revealed too much of yeah. myself. I thought I was going to come here and someone was going to ask me if I'd ever been to fucking Penn. <laughs> 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 there's an exam coming up in the final part of the show. Plus, someone will win the powdered remains of David Baddiel's dead cat monkey. <laughs> yes, please! <laughs> Taskmaster for the umpteenth time. Well, it's the 275th time, actually. That's not including the first ever hello, as that wasn't a welcome back, that was just a welcome. Before the break, the two teams had been swatting up for an exam. <laughs> on our mysterious guest. And now it's time for that exam. Good luck, teams! Hello, mate. Please, oh. have... Shh, please have a seat. Let's have a seat. You're a bit high up. You're a bit low down. <laughs> Welcome to the exam. <laughs> you may confer. OK. But I will then only accept your first answer. The exam will last a maximum of ten minutes. From now, question one. What is your name? Gareth Simon Callian. What is the person's name? Gareth Simon Callian. Well, he gave us one name, which was Carlos Edwards. That's the only time he gave us yeah, a well, name. Yeah, let's so we use no that idea. then. Carlos oh, Edwards. <laughs> What is your occupation? I am a professional magician. I think he is a magician. I agree. Magician. magician. What is the person's age? 
I don't think we asked. He's a magician. We know if he's had therapy or not. Why aren't they asking about that? <laughs> what is your age? I am 39 years old. So Should we guess? Take a guess? Yeah. 36. I think he's had some work done. He's had work done. Let's say 42. <laughs> Should we go for 42? It's the only yeah. number. Yeah, let's gave. go for 42. What are you most frightened of? Being completely submerged in a deep ocean. Being plunked in the middle of the deep ocean. Final question. What is the person's party trick? Please do the trick. We've got three minutes, 50 seconds. Um... He doesn't really get on with his parents. Will that be coming up at any point in the exam? He said something about being on stage in women's underwear. He did say that. She's not really a party trick. Well, I'm not doing that. Have you got I, women's I, underwear? Of the two of us, I assume you're the one with women's underwear. We're not doing that trick. You're not doing that trick. No, because I don't want to show you my underwear, because obviously I haven't got my car crash underwear on. No. <laughs> You've got two minutes, 20. This is our party trick. This is the party trick. This is our party trick. It's to talk about pants. Our answer is a physical offer. He does it seven times, and then he stops. What is your party trick? Oh, I can make my tongue really big. Can. Uh, Joe, what's car crash underwear? Well, it's the sort of underwear that all women are supposed to wear just in case you're in a car crash. And, and then, then, you're... then you're lying on the table in A&E &E and it's not like the grey ones that have got what looks like custard on them. <laughs> it's, like, it's like the Steady nice legs. I'm trying to present a show here. I don't want to get turned on. <laughs> We know, we know why you'll be in the car crash, because he's singing Jerusalem down there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah! yeah! No, like this. Yeah. <laughs> That's how you sing Jerusalem. Do you want to tell them what the scores are? Well, the team of two got one and a half right, the team of three got three and a half right. But we were at a disadvantage. The right answer fell on the same person every time in their team, because there were three, so it was easier to work yeah, out. And, uh, what, yeah. right, no, we no, didn't have a system because there was only two of us. That's yeah. not why you didn't have a system! No, you, <laughs> you didn't have a system because you just walked in, didn't give a fuck and then left again! He's going That's to shout 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 shout. Shout. As there was, in the end, the two-point golf between the two teams, so I'm going to give Joe and David two points. Two points to the team of two. And I'm going to give Ed, Rose and Katie four points. OK, four points to the team of three. There you go. There we go. Well, Well, I've got some news for you, because for the first time this series, I'm offering up a bonus point. Oh, what? Do you want to tell the, the... They were more excited about the egg. <laughs> <laughs> it goes to the team member who best replicates the magician's big tongue. <laughs> it's not coming out. Why is it not coming out? <laughs> Why can't you get your tongue out your mouth? Joe is pretty strong. <laughs> I'm going to give the bonus point to Joe Brown. Joe Brown gets one point for a massive turn. <laughs> Scores then. It's tied to the top. Katie and Kerry, second place with 14, but Joe's in the lead with 16 points. Yes! <laughs> All right, competitors, please make your way to the stage for the final task of the show. <laughs> That all looks pretty straightforward. Let's play. <laughs> Who's reading out the task? Uh, Ed Gamble, please, today. OK. <laughs> Looking at your mirror and facing forward at all times, build the highest tower of bricks on the table behind you. You must stay on your spot and use your litter pickers at all times. <laughs> highest tower after two minutes wins. OK, you've got two minutes starting. <laughs> what? <laughs> We must be facing forwards. Oh. Oh. Oh, oh. Please face forwards. Please face forwards. Face forwards! Face forwards, please. Face forwards, please. please. We're <laughs> doing this for Katie. Which is my table? Which is my table? Oh, 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 oh,
action here. Intentionally. <laughs> oh, Gamble Stork. <laughs> He's clutching his mirror. No one said you couldn't clutch your mirror. Thanks for the face. Oh! <laughs> it's neck and neck, Rose and Ed now with 10 seconds to go. Fuck you, Matafeo. Uh, <laughs> go on, Rose. We'll work out how that's affected the final scores. Come down here and join me. <laughs> well, everybody had a great time up there, didn't they? Mm. I really enjoyed themselves. <laughs> well, the controversy was we saw Ed Campbell stacked a mighty two bricks on top of each other. Yes. At one point, Rose Matafeo also had two. Yeah. Well, I freeze framed the moment when the whistle blew, and I can show it to you now. She has two stacked. It's pretty clear. I'm, like, I'm willing to... Look, like, I'm just... I've had a very rough episode. <laughs> you had and a full-blown tantrum. Quite rightly. You're not even in this show. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. Yes. Oh, sorry, sorry. So, <laughs> final scoreboard. So, with a total of one brick that way up, David and Kerry both get two points for coming joint fourth. Yep. Uh, one brick that way up, Joe Brand gets three points. Two that way up, uh, joint winners with five points, Rose and Ed Gamble! Hey! <laughs> Which means that uh, Rose has extended her lead in the overall leaderboard with 88 points, followed by Ed on 82, Katie on 80, Joe on 77, and then David on 65. 65. <laughs> but who's won tonight's episode? First time winner with 19 points, it's Joe Brown! Yeah! What have we learned today? We've learned that if you find yourself tortured by life's existential questions, who are we? Why are we here? Well, I'm afraid I can't help you. But the one thing I can guarantee is that the answer to any of these questions is not tie another spoon on it. <laughs> <laughs> We'd like to say a huge thank you to Kerry Godleman and get well soon, Katie. And let's have one more hooray for tonight's winner, Joe Brown! <laughs> For more Taskmaster, subscribe now!